This may look like a basement where someone leads you to kill you, but you're about to enter a world of magic. It's like Studio 54 without the drugs and share. I'm stressed. Hello. You know, for someone who has a completely irrational fear of tornadoes, it's quite ironic that I am the human manifestation of one. Hi, I'm Bill Paxton. Anyone else remember the Twister ride in Universal Studios? Interview video of Bill Paxton came up and he would say that. <laughs> it was like 15 years ago, but something me and my sister still quote to this day. I'm not stalling, you're stalling. <laughs> yep, welcome to my basement. A phrase you probably don't wanna hear under any circumstance. Yikes. Okay, so here's the thing. <laughs> I have come to terms with the fact that I am probably not going to get a studio to rent to make me seem like a professional YouTuber. I have been put on wait lists and it's been months and months. And so we turn to my dingy basement, a portion of my house that again has shown some serious neglect. Not for lack of usage though, I come down here and I shoot a ton of things, a really good space to set up a backdrop, but I want it to be a little bit more than that. I want it to be an actual workshop space. I want it to be a space where I actually want to come down and work. That is kind of the most important part of this because right now it's, it's a mess and it stresses me out just to look at it. Hopefully by the end of it, it won't look like a weird 70s bachelor pad. I've been watching a lot of HGTV, so you could say I'm a pro. <laughs> I'm gonna give myself two weeks. First, we will go into design phase and talk about my overall plans for this room. And then what I have to do today is clean. <laughs> I literally went into Nick's office and was like, oh, give me this. And he just kind of looked at me like, are you about to go clean or something? as if I was procrastinating. I had very much like a SpongeBob, uh, don't you have an essay you should be writing? Don't you have a paper to write? <laughs> oh no. <sighs> Let's take a look at this room, shall we? Behold, clothes from about three or four videos ago that I still have yet to take back upstairs. Somewhere underneath all this mess is a work desk. These all used to be full of my grandmother's photo albums, but I have started putting them in boxes and putting them away. These shelves are a little droopy. Don't know that I have the skill required to change them out. This middle beam, I'm not sure if I can just like rip out or if it's like really structural. Disgusting shelf liners. As far as the walls, as you can see, they are very 70s. My solution to this over here was just to paint it with a white paint. It is a little shiny. My plan is to pick up some fake brick paneling, paint it white. I think a visual goal for this, a warehouse, but a lot of light colors, creams, whites, those are just kind of the colors that bring me joy, <laughs> spark joy, rustic. This wall, I think I'm gonna get rid of this clothes rack. I got some metal wire racks for all of my fake weapons. Moving right along. Da, 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 da. Okay, <sighs> my cubbies. This is where I keep all of my fabric. I think a big part of this project is going to be reorganizing all of my fabrics and possibly some labels. I've been watching a lot of Mythbusters. I'm gonna move this big white cabinet because it's just taking up a ton of space. I'm gonna move it over to our tool area in the other side of the basement. A comfy chair over here, I don't know yet. And then my really, really messy cosplay closet. Help me. Hello? Big curtain rod here and a big curtain to hide this mess. Very responsible of me. 10 out of 10. Fold that up, put it in a corner. It's filing cabinet. That was my grandmother's. I will probably empty this out and put it on Facebook Marketplace or something. It is truly a hot pile of garbage in here. I think honestly any changes I make are going to be an improvement. I'm also going to try to get a lot more lighting in here because it is really dark and a big reason I don't come down here is because it's so dark. <sighs> That's the most talking I've done in like three weeks. <laughs> All for you, baby. Wearing a little aesthetic outfit was just such a cute idea, but no. Much better. Let's do some cleaning. While browsing for workshop decor, came across the best mug I've ever seen, and somehow it, uh, it ended up in my cart and somehow got shipped to my house. I, I don't... Let's get to work. You know 
What is this, a frat house? Trash and precious. Why shouldn't I keep it? I look like Sora. Come on! <laughs> I also went through this gigantic box of patterns that someone once sent me in my P.O. box to see what I wanted to keep and what I want to donate. <sighs> Good morning, you hot mess. It's literally so cold down here that I have had to triple slip it. Basement fashion. Hark, tis the sound of my neighbor who has been leaf blowing his driveway for three hours. Well, it was a good try. But here we are in the dark living room. So as I sometimes do with bigger projects, I just want to sit down here, explain the process rather than just one big voiceover. <sighs> Hope you're ready. I already wrote down what I did each day because that's how bad my memory is. All right, so day two of this project, I basically was just finishing up organizing and cleaning. I spent quite a while organizing my fabric stash. <laughs> of which was almost entirely pointless due to a disaster that no one could have predicted in which you will see later. So after I took the measurements for the shelving units and the length of the room, I knew I didn't want to do the whole thing in brick. It was a thought that passed through my head, but I knew that it was going to be number one, very expensive to do so, number two, very time consuming, a little bit too daunting. So I chose very specific sections to do the bricks and then headed out to the place belonging to Lowe. started to rain as we were heading home, because of course it did. Mother Nature! I've always wanted to do this. Tom Holland, eat your heart out.
was fun. What else can I chop? So to put, okay. so to put the brick panels up, I feel like to over announce it, I just sound like I belong in Downton Abbey. <laughs> to put the brick panels up, we put Gorilla Glue liquid nail type situation on the back and just stuck it right to that wood paneling. Didn't know how well this was gonna work. It worked pretty dang well. It was a little hard to get it to stick, but we ended up going and drilling some nails in there. I feel like this is a good example of just how dark walls can make a room, but you know, just in case you wanted your basement to look like a New York City alleyway, fog machine in there, a little bit of trash, your raccoon paradise. This is Betty. <gasps> Betty, no. Oh. Hello? Oh, I see. Shloop. I went to pick this up last night, the old guy, helping us get it in the car. He's like, oh, it's looking like a dead body in here. Yes, good sir. Indeed it does. Please don't murder me or my husband. Let's go, girl. Ugh. Honey, I'm home. <laughs> Come on. <sighs> Smells like sawdust in here. to painting. You know, sometimes I feel like I can be the kind of person who feels like they're being scammed when they're buying paint and they're forced to buy the more expensive paint, but I will tell you, there's a reason. I got really cheap ceiling paint. It was pretty transparent. I did need to go in and do like three layers, which was a pain in my ass. So I did end up going out later and getting uh, paint and primer all in one, which helped a lot. So highly recommend that. Covering up my careless mistakes, something I'm getting quite good at. <laughs> Just in case you were like, oh, those cubbies are cool, I, I should order some. Um, <laughs> don't. <laughs> Basically, all I was trying to do was slide it out and then slide it back in so I could get behind it. And they are connected like a literal child's toy, which I didn't see the problem with until it came to moving. And then when you multiply that across the entire <laughs> cubby, if one joint fails, then essentially it all just comes crashing down, and that is exactly what just happened. <laughs> Say lovey. Shit happens. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. the song that sums up everything happening in my brain at any given point in time. This is probably one of the most intimidating parts of this project just because I have never put up shelves before. So I took my all-powerful hammer, mallet, <laughs> and basically just smack the shit out of it. Oh. 
You did that like three times faster than I did. Thankfully these shelves had little cork board guides that I could just keep and so I painted the entire thing. I decided to go with actually the same color that this living room is, warm gray. Didn't want it to go white because the rest of the room is white and I wanted just a little bit of a difference. good at using a saw. If you want me to come chop stuff for you, I'll gladly do it. So satisfying. Instead of throwing these weird 80s boxes out, I kind of liked the gold details and decided just to paint them. I thought I was recording the entire shelf process, but um, I wasn't, <laughs> so. But basically it's pretty simple. We just took the pieces of wood and they just kind of slide in there because of the guides that are there. We nailed around the edges to make them secure. I also took that gray paint again and painted over this cabinet instead of getting rid of it. Went a little hog wild with this paint and also painted this radiator thing that doesn't work. <laughs> better. Day six is where it started getting really fun and I could start decorating. I had gone to Target and the thrift store to find some baskets and organizers and also a new cubby that will not entirely implode if you just look at it the wrong way. my weapon rack, I did see this trick on uh, several cosplay websites. I just got these wire racks that you're meant to hang like pictures and memos on. Two of them side by side. And then I took my weapons and zip tied them to the rack. These were the only zip ties I had. They're a little bit too thick. Damn boy, she thick. I wanted to give this rub and buff stuff a try. That was pretty good. I definitely could have done a, a little bit more even of a job, but it's fine for now. Two thousand years later. I ended up doing a lot off camera this day just because I think I got a little tired and I just wanted it to be done. <laughs> this day was mostly full of getting rid of the furniture I didn't want, organizing everything to make it look nice. overhead lighting which is insane the difference brightness level you will see when we go down there but oh it's so nice i also went and grabbed some trunks that were for sale on facebook marketplace pretty much complete so with that let me give you a tour may look like a basement where someone leads you to kill you but you're about to enter a world of magic like studio 54 without the drugs and share ready Ta -da! come in there's so much freaking space in here wow 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 you like it huh 
the main area, which I definitely wanted to be like a filming space. It needed to look nice. The coolest lamp to ever exist. Okay. All of this stuff is full of cosplay and sewing things that I'm gonna need, baskets and such, and then I'm gonna try to fill this up with either knickknacks that I make or knickknacks that people send me. I saw this on the Weird Secondhand Finds Facebook and I thought it was funny, so I wanted to retry that. Oops, Betty, you're indecent. I dressed Betty up, apron behind here, which doesn't really look so cute anymore, it's kinda... Disgusting. Moving on, filming area, what it was before. Old chalkboard that I picked up, and then I have a clothing rack for, these are all things that I wanna sell. <coughs> Excuse me, cameraman. Don't hold it in, cough if you need to cough. Don't die, please. I wanted to like partition it so there's more space and it's not just everything up against the wall, which is kind of how I decorate. My makeup stuff, secret mess that no one ever needs to see. Keep it up, up double way in there. I was gonna get rid of and then as you saw I painted it and I spray painted the handles, all of my filming equipment, my tripods and light stand, also warbler and foam. I was gonna get rid of it but number one it's super freaking heavy and then number two it was actually pretty good storage so oh no. What? You have to like close the doors at the same time? That's some garbo huh? What do you think? This little nook. Oh, you want me to do the lights? Don't mind my butt. And let there be. Nope, wrong way. Light! <sighs> Ta-da! Um, I wanted this to be kind of just a little cozy area. That's from Target. This was down here. This, fun fact, it's actually an antique shelf, came from a nunnery. We got it a while ago and I just never did anything with it and it was just sitting. So I figured it would be like a cute little you know? And I may have overdone it with these vines, but a little bit weird and whimsical and Jumanji. I have my makeup kit here. I was going to get rid of this and I also then was going to repaint it, but I didn't. So now it's just kind of there. I think it, it looks fine. I don't really care. My sewing patterns in there, which I don't foresee being a sustainable option because I would assume my sewing pattern number is going to grow. That's my solution for now. Might change. I might order some more filing cabinets and just stack them. Wigs. This situation, so I was gonna get little like baskets, but I think I can store more this way and it looks kind of cool. The mirror looked a little weird on the ground, so I went and got a trunk that I could put it on. And then my weapons rack, this, which has nothing in it. <laughs> Surprise. So that has all of my backdrops. Mmm, that smells like old people, huh? Oh, stinky, God. Ugh. How did it, what? All right, last call for sniffs. Going down. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to scare you. Ta da! This goes up and down. Okay, well, you get the idea. It goes up and down. That is the tour. Now get out. <laughs> nice. wrap up so beyond happy that I did this a hell of a process took me way longer than any other house renovation has taken me but so worth it also I'm never spending any money ever again <laughs> 
I mean, the way I justified it was the fact that studio spaces I was looking at would be around 300 a month anyways. Hopefully will, you know, even itself out as time goes on because I want to use this all the time. So more pros of just having it in my basement. I don't have to go anywhere. In my brain, I romanticized having a studio where I was like, yeah, I'll go drive, get a coffee, go to my studio. I have a feeling that if I were to actually get that studio space that I would not have the motivation to go there as much as I should. So this is just a hop and a skip down some rickety stairs and we're here. Who knew there was this much space? Cause I sure didn't. Fun fact, right over there, I used to sit on the couch with my sister when I was like seven and play Bubble Bobble? Bibble Bobble on the Super Nintendo. As a maximalist myself, maximalist, <laughs> Part of me is like, oh, there's way too much space in the in the middle of this room. But I don't think, you know, there doesn't have to be clutter everywhere, Rachel, okay? Some things can have space. And I think that space will come in handy when I'm working on really big projects. It's so bright in here. It's a little too bright, you know, especially coming from the dungeon that is my house. Once you turn on the light switch, you're kind of like, <sighs> there's no actual real daylight down here. So store-bought is fine. <laughs> I'm excited that I could recycle some of the old furniture that was down here and just repurpose it. That is what I enjoy doing and also I didn't want to spend any more money on things. <laughs> Hopefully we can make some really cool stuff here. I feel like this is kind of the next evolution of my channel and I'm really excited about it. Obviously we will still have living room segments. It'll be nice to have this space as an option. Hmm. I mean overall it is still a basement. I can gussy it up all I want but I still will be very cautious of spiders. I'll probably get a couple more rugs in here for my cold toesies. All right, here's to making stuff. I love you, whether you're new or old to this channel, if you're new here and you feel like sticking around, feel free to subscribe. I upload every Friday and we have fun here. And I will see you in my next video. Bye. Hi, I'm Bill Paxton. Hi, I'm Bill Paxton. Hi, I'm Bill Paxton. And get some and get some material so let's get cleaning here i go am i doing it cinematic shot is that cool or is it stupid huh? plain wood wow uh so to put the, the all the tiny little cracks, but in. <laughs> Hi, bud. So much room for activities.